This is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. And I am at the beach. We're gonna learn all kinds of interesting facts about the beach and the ocean. Let's talk about the beach. A beach is a landform next to a body of water. And this beach is next to the ocean. Beaches can also be next to lakes, rivers, and seas. Beaches are made up of sand and other different particles. They are caused by the waves and the water and also by water current. Current is what helps the water in the ocean to move around. This is sand. Sand is tiny little rock pieces that have been eroded. Eroded? What is eroded? Eroded or erosion is when something is broken down into smaller pieces. And sand is tiny rock particles that have been broken down into smaller pieces. It's formed by the water. When the water rushes against the rocks and other materials like gravel or seashells, it breaks it down smaller and smaller. Did you know that sand can be different colors? Not every sand is the same color. That's why some beaches, the sand is lighter. Some beaches have darker sand. They can be brown or red. And some beaches can even have black sand. It depends on what type of rocks and other materials are at the beach. There can be wild beaches and recreational beaches. A wild beach is a beach that doesn't have anybody at it. And there are no hotels or houses nearby just animals are there. That's what a wild beach is. But this one is a recreational beach where there are lots of different people that come and enjoy the beach and the ocean. There are also a lot of hotels and houses nearby because a lot of people want to come and enjoy a nice day at the beach. You can play in the sand and build sand castles, go for walks by the ocean. You can look for all kinds of animals and insects and hermit crabs. And you can also play in the water. There's all kinds of water sports that you can do. There are all kinds of different types of seashells at the beach. And you can go on a seashell hunt. Let's go see what kind of seashells we can find now. Beaches can also have sand dunes, and this is a sand dune. A sand dune is an area of the beach that the wind has carried the sand and it has built up into like a hill or a mound. Usually, plants like to live on sand dunes because it's a protected area from people. You can also find a lot of insects that live on sand dunes because of the plants that live here. 
look at all the grass and plants that are here. talk about the ocean. The ocean is a body of water that is salt water. It's not made of fresh water, but it's made of salt water. There can be tides and waves and different water currents. Waves happen when the wind moves across the top of the water surface and causes friction. What is friction? Friction is when the motion is resistant and the two things rub together against each other. Well, when the wind blows, the wind blows across the top of the water surface and causes friction and makes it move. So that's why, so that's why waves can be all different sizes. There can be big waves and little waves. It depends on how much wind there is. If it's a really windy day, the wind can cause a lot of friction and make the waves move really big and really strong. That's why when there's storms and it's really windy, the water can be so strong, it will knock you down and not be very safe. So always be with a grown-up. The water does not move with the waves. Only the water moves up and down because of the energy. The ocean also has what is called a tide. A tide is what determines how the beach will be. A tide is water that forms into pumps and moves around. A tide determines how the water will move. Tides are attracted to the gravity that the sun and the moon cause. So they move towards the gravity and as they move towards the gravity, the water moves around and around the ocean. There can be high tides and low tides. High tides are when the water is rising in the ocean. And low tides are when the water is falling. Most tides go on a six hour cycle. So every six hours, it's changing because the sun and the moon are changing. There can also be all kinds of animals that live in the ocean, such as dolphin, whales, sharks, stingrays, jellyfish, and lots and lots of different types of fish. An interesting fact about hermit crabs is that hermit crabs can have all different kinds of seashells that they use as their home. They will move around in different types of shells. That is so neat. That's why hermit crabs can have all different kinds of seashells that they live in. They're, they use big ones and little ones, all different colors, all different sizes. There are also sea turtles that live in the ocean. Did you know that the green sea turtle is the biggest 
turtle? It can weigh up to 700 pounds and be about five feet long. Wow, that's a big turtle. Turtles can also hold their breath underwater for several hours. Except for at feeding time. When it's feeding time, they'll keep coming to the surface every few minutes to eat. They also like to lay on the bottom of the sea. Another interesting fact about sea turtles is that the mommy sea turtle will come up onto the beach and sometimes travel a long way and go find a spot on the beach and use their flippers, which are their arms, and dig a hole in the sand and lay eggs. And they'll cover up the eggs and go back into the ocean. And when it's time for the baby sea turtles to hatch, they'll peck at the shell and they'll hatch. And they'll, and when they're about two months old, then they'll travel all by themselves back into the water. It can be very dangerous for the baby sea turtles to travel back into the water because they gotta get there without being hurt. So if you see some baby sea turtles traveling back into the water, don't mess with them. They're going to find their new home. There are lots of different water sports that you can do in the ocean. You can go swimming. You can go surfing with a board or just your body. That's where you take either a board or use your body and you ride across the top of the waves. That can be so much fun. You can also take a boat or jet skis out into the ocean, ride and have lots of fun on the water. There are other types of sports such as kayaking and canoeing. Those don't have motors on them. You use your body and paddles to go across the water in those. There's also carouseling and banana boating. This beach has those things that you can go and pay someone to take you out on a banana boat or go parasailing. But if you're going swimming, make sure you're with a grown-up because remember, sometimes it can be very strong and dangerous to go swimming in the ocean. So make sure you check with your grown-up. Another thing that you could do is to go snorkeling and scuba diving. You can get lots of protective gear on you and go down into the water and see all the different plants and animals that live in the ocean. Let's go see what kinds of things we can find at this beach. Do you think we'll find any seashells or any animals? Let's go have fun at the beach. Parasailing and banana boating right now. Wow, doesn't that look fun? Wow, that looks really fun.
hope you enjoyed learning all about the beach and the ocean today. They are so interesting to learn about. It's so beautiful. You can have lots of fun at the beach too. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for beaches and the ocean that we get to enjoy. They are so beautiful and so neat to learn about. You have created the whole world so special and each one of us so special. Help us to let our light shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.